hello guys in this video i'll tell you how to develop user login and user registration system using python so let's first uh, check the demo how our system will look like so here user registration page uh, here you can see the name email password and the user will complete their registration after completing registration the user can able to log in using their email and password so this is the user login page so here user can log in using their email address and password the password that uh, he created uh, during registration in php my admin interface i have created a table user the structure of table user is like user id the primary auto increment uh, name email and password so we can set it a auto increment so here we can change here and set it auto increment so and uh, name email name name of the user e email uh, email of the user uh, using email we will complete the login user login and the password so this is the simple table for using uh, have four field like user id name email password now let's move to the code so actually we have created al already created a application here is our application you can see login registration uh, login register python so here our file actually uh, we will uh, develop our system using uh, python with flask and mysql uh, so uh, we need to install the flask module the flask uh, micro framework from python and also the mysql module so now let's start coding so here is our app.py file app.py this is the main file uh, here we are uh, importing flask so guys remember you need to uh, install flask module module also uh, we are using functions like render template request redirect url for session these are required to complete our user login and registration function you can see the session session is used to uh, maintain the http persistence actually uh, keeping the information from one page to another page and also redirect and render template also for rendering template using uh, flask so also here we are importing the mysql module flask mysql db so you also need to need to install this module and here also importing mysql db cursors from mysql so this is the from mysql module and this is for uh, connecting interacting with the mysql database we need to mysql db cursors and also here importing uh, re for regular expression so this is the required modules that we need to install to implement our login and registration system so now uh, move to next so now actually here actually we are using plus so here we need to create our plus app so here i'm creating the plus app so this is the plus app so here is app this is the a variable of plus app so now actually we are implementing the functionality with mysql db so here we need to connect to to the database actually when we register then our information will store into the user table into mysql database and when we log in then again we need to execute our select query to to get the inform user information to complete our registration so here is uh, using flask app we are setting the mysql database connection details so here I have dot secret key actually this is anything like one two three any thing uh, that we uh, we need to pass for security of our application and then next mysql host this is the host of here we, here we are using local host this is the host of our mysql database and then mysql user is the user of mysql database user password yeah, using blank actually here we have not set yet any password and then mysql db so here is user system the mysql database you can see them in php my, uh, my admin that i have used the interface here is user system so the database name is user system so here we are using 
in the in, in database name user system so now uh, here we have completed our details for connecting mysql database now we uh, we are using the mysql class mysql module and creating the object mysql using the flask app so this will connect to the mysql database and then using mysql object we will connect we will intact to the mysql database to execute queries like insert update select any query so this is the uh, our flask app details to connect to mysql database and the object uh, mysql so this this the you can see the start of our application now we'll uh, move to next step to uh, implement our login and registration functionality so uh, implement our registration functionality. so here is you can see that we are using the at the rate app using our flask app we are using the routing using root function register here we have using the action using the ur register and we, we we will use the method get post actually we are getting the values from form field actually form will be submitted and send the post values so here we will using both get and post method then we will uh, actually when there is a register url routing means uh, the root is a register uh, like uh, when we have uh, we can see this on here so here is register if this is a register then the function will be called def register in def register and we will uh, enter something anything like uh, ab at web and like password one two three and then when we submit this then we check here request method post name password and email if these are coming from form then we will get these request using request dot form we'll get the form values storing in username password and email then we will have a mysql dot connection dot cursor to interact with database and store in our object cursor using cursor we call function execute to execute the query here we are uh, checking the user already exist or not so here we are getting select test from user where email you are if checking if that email is already exist or not if not exist then we will create otherwise display message so here we are checking this and check if the account exist then message display account already exists. We are also checking the email validation, then if I and display invalid email message. If form is sending blank value, then we did, uh, check username, password, email, anything is blank, we will display please fill out the form. Otherwise, all things are okay, then the else file will be executed with using cursor object we execute insert query insert into user values and then username email password are inserted and then we use mysql.connection.commit to commit the values and then we return the message you have successfully registered and then else if required that matter post please other if uh, actually this is what if nothing in part form we, we will display the message fill out the form and then finally render we return using return and then call method render template and call register or template and the message so this is the method from flask uh, to execute to process the template file here is a register.html is a template file so now we'll check we have inserted the values and when we click it now is your register successfully is, is, is displaying message you have successfully registered we can check the, check the database here the values is we have entered this and email this and password this so record is inserted successfully so now this is executed successfully so now we will move to our login page now when we click on this link 
the login page displayed displayed the login template displayed login uh, when there is a login is executed when there is form submitted otherwise it return the login dot html template without passing any message so now it is used the login dot html now we'll check the login functionality so login functionality actually uh, we are again checking in here the login url routing login and the method get and post then we uh, it called the method def login and then implement the functionality in inside login method here we are checking if request dot method require post email and password both are coming then we are getting these from form values and then we using casa mysql dot connection dot casa is called to execute the query here we are executing select query select ht from user where email is the email and password so here we are placeholders here email and password and using casa dot Cursor dot face one method here we are calling me and get the user record if user record if user record get then we are storing session logged in already true said true session user id user user id session name session email and message logged in successfully and then render the template user dot html means if successfully log in then it redirect to or uh, it load the process that uh, template user dot html otherwise a display please enter correct email and password and um, again go to the login to html with error message so now we'll check uh, functionality suppose uh, we have uh, enter something like this enter the wrong password it display please enter correct email or password now we will log in using like suppose uh, we have copied this smith at webdan.com and password is one two three and login yeah welcome to the user profile where logged in is uh, john smith so it's get logged in successfully and redirect to the user dot html so it's displaying the user dot html so in user dot html now we'll check our uh, template files so the register template file is here you can check this in register actually we are using the uh, design and style using the bootstrap 4 so here we have included the bootstrap 4 file and here in the register pair here url for register action method post we have displaying message here if message coming if message is defined and message then we have a message displayed and we have feel like name uh, type text id name and here we have e email and uh, this is for password so this is for password and then we have a button for submitting the uh, register phase so this is our register phase and we have also like login page uh, the login page again we have included here the bootstrap 4 and then we have form uh, you are login form uh, on action i made a post and here we are displaying the message if any error message then we have a email input type email for login and type password for uh, password and then we have a submit type button for login uh, login page so this is the uh, page login page and finally when our login successfully then we have a user dot html template the user dot uh, template uh, user dot html template is this here rendering from here so in which we are again calling bootstrap this is the header part and then we have a heading user profile we are displaying this user profile and then we have a logged in session dot name and the uh, logout url and but button or link logout and then the message welcome to the user profile page so this is the user phase so guys uh, you have seen the file structure here like file structure is here our main file uh, python file app.py and then our uh, template variables on that same root and having the uh, register.html login.html and user.html uh, user.html template files
So these are this is the you know, file three templates and one Python file. So this is our main app.py uh, app file, a Python file in which we have implemented the login functionality. You can see the login functionality and the logout uh, registered functionality. And then the uh, the one uh, thing is missing. Uh, we already this so is login successfully now when we click on logout it, it take you to the login page the logout functionality is here i have download if there's a action logout then it will call the method def logout and session dot pop logged in none actually here we are resetting the uh, session variables that set during the login functionality and during logout we are resetting these like logged in false none, user ID none, email none, and redirect to the login page. So there is the functionality. So again, we have a, a brief overview of the functionality. Here we are including the modules. Here creating the Flask app. Here we are setting the MySQL database connection details, creating the MySQL object. Here we are checking the route for login and implementing the login functionality. Here we are implementing the logout functionality, and here. We are setting the uh, checking for register and implement the register functionality. So that so this is the our application functionality to implement the uh, user login and registration functionality using the Python. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. So don't forget to like and share this tutorial. Also subscribe our channel. Thank you.